everybody. I wanted to show you today a grouping of free resources for both Enterprise DNA members and non-members that I think you'll find incredibly useful. And within that, that grouping, I wanted to demo in particular something called Data Randomizer, which is a tool that I think even our members are not particularly aware of. And it's it's got some really powerful uses. Um, and I want to just spend some time walking through that today. But what I want to show you first is one of the things we've done to make it easy for everybody is rather than having to download each of these resources individually, we've grouped them together into this into this collection. And if you if you go to this URL here, and I'll put this in the comments section, um, if you're a member, you'll be able to jump right into it. If you're not, um, it'll just ask for an email and provide you a link to download um, all the resources. And as part of this this package, it, it's really got a wide variety of really useful stuff in here. Um, we've got a DAX guide. We've got a guide to optimizing DAX. I think one of the best resources um, we offer is the extended day table um, developed by one of our experts, Melissa DeCorte. And it's an amazingly comprehensive and powerful um, day table for Power BI. And we've, we've also got in here a cheat sheet for um, how to use it. So a guide to what's in there. Um, the example values for each field, what what data type they are, uh, how you sort um, each field in Power BI by what other what other field. Um, we've got a grouping of really top notch um, Power BI reports in here where you can go through and download the PBIX file to see how uh, how those were put together. Um, got a series of implementation deployment resources, licensing planner, um, and then a whole series of, of coursework. Um, so so the, what we call the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Power BI, Beginner's Guide to DAX, and this, is, this alone is about six hours of coursework. And then three of our most popular um, workshop series. So one on budgeting, one on effective Power BI reporting, and then one on uh, detecting and analyzing outliers. So about 10 hours of content total in here. Um, really great, um, great resource. I think you can become quite competent in Power BI just using the resources in this package. But the, um, the thing I wanted to highlight today is something called the Power BI Data Randomizer. And if you go here, you just download this XLSB file. And let me show you what this what this does. Um, if we go to downloads and then you open this up and then you just pop this open in Excel. And what this is for is this is for creating randomized data sets. And you may ask kind of what's the value in that? Um, and there's, there's a lot of different uses for that. Um, one of the most common is for folks on the Enterprise DNA forum or in any forum, um, where you're trying to provide a, an example PBIX file, but your information may be confidential and may, for some reason, be very difficult to mask. And so what you can do is you can use this to develop a representative data set using just random names, random addresses, random dates, um, but conform to the, the constraints and, um, and requirements of your particular data set. So it's representative without including any confidential information. Um, in addition, you may want to develop a data set to test um, some code. So for example, if you've got um, Power BI calling an R script to test whether a distribution is normal or not, you may want to generate some normal distributions, some non-normal distributions, and see if the code is working the way you think it is. Um, it's also really good if you teach Power BI um, or if you create um, examples for quizzes, tests, whatever. You can create it according to almost any sort of parameterization you want. And I'm going to show you how, how this works. So if you go, um, let's create just an, an open sheet here and we'll call it, call it test. And if we go up here to this random list, this is the add-in that, that's created by the data randomizer. And it's got some, some simple options and some fairly complex ones. And I'll walk through 
the simple ones first. So basically you can you can just pick the number of rows you want to create. So let's say 500 rows. Um, you can pick whether you want them to be unique or not. Um, and let's let's say we're, we're creating a fact table, so we don't necessarily want unique. Um, we can create whole numbers or decimals. And then these are just the output options. So it can output to um, a particular cell, to a particular new sheet, or to the last column and space in the uh, the existing workbook. Um, so let's let's just pick whole numbers and um, we'll we'll control where we want to put it. So you can just go numbers list um, minimum, let's say zero, maximum of a thousand. Let's put the the output here. And there we go. We've got we've got 500 un unique um, random numbers. And the same thing we can do for dates. Um, so let's take unique off. Let's create a dates list. Um, and let's start. Uh, let's start at the beginning of this year. And we'll go to the end of this year. And then we just have to format this as a as a date. And there we go. So we've got we've got 500 random dates within within the the bounds of this year. Um, so that's that's the basic things. And then what we can also do is this is going to create if we create a numbers list or a date list here, that's going to create a uniform distribution. So it's got an equal chance of pulling any number within that range. But what we can also do is create a weighted list and it'll prompt you for the different segments of the the distribution and how much how much weight you want to put in each segment so you can approximate a normal distribution or a Weibull distribution or an F distribution. Um, and I'm not going to spend time walking through that. It's just, it's basically just kind of a follow the prompts exercise. Um, range variable list, frankly, I don't know what that does. Um, I've never used it. Um, I'm sure it's something cool, but um, it's never been, been something I've needed. But the one that that is really, really helpful in addition to the ones I've showed you is the linked list. and one of the things we've done is gone through and put together kind of a whole range of of dummy data here. So we've got names, we've got phone numbers, we've got addresses, email addresses, um, countries, regions. Um, here we've got you know products, company names, um, distribution channels. Um, I think there's one here that's like types of bread. Um, there's just a whole range of of lists, and you can actually add your own your own list to this. But I want to show you how this works. Um, so what we can do is, let's say, um, let's say we want to do like a sentiment analysis. Okay, here we go, sentiment analysis. So let's take this list, positive, neutral, negative, copy it over to our test. And let's pop it in here and then say linked list. And we'll take the, the first cell for output will be E1. And that's going to create 500 sentiments of a uniform distribution um, based on this list. So that's useful. But one of the things that is really cool about this is you can you can do on the fly weighting. So let's say you want three times more positive responses than negative or neutral. So what you can do here is put two more positives in. Grab that again. Link list. Put that in the F column. And now that is going to create the same 500 records but it's going to create three times the number of positives than negatives or neutral. So you can, you can see how you can you can adapt that with the the weighted list and the the linked list with 
kind of the on the fly weights to create almost any kind of data set that, that you want. So another thing we've got in here is geographic data. So you can either through postcodes or longitude latitude addresses, you can you can create simulated geographic data. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is through the um, through the settings here with the unique or non-unique, what you can do is you can either create a fact table. If you're trying to create a whole data model um, through this, you can either create just the fact table and then go into Power BI and Power Query and create your dimension tables from that that fact table by referencing and pulling out the unique the unique records of your dimensions. Or what you can do is you can build additional sheets with the unique items and basically build those out as your as your dimension tables. And so when you import this, you'll just import the fact and dimension tables and then just join those up in Power BI. So that's really what I want to show you. It's it's really quite simple when you get the hang of it. And as I said, what you can do is add any sort of additional list information um, that you want to, to to make this custom to the type of data sets you want to generate. So um, that's it for now. Um, I really hope you'll take a look and, and download this. I think you'll find kind of regardless of your your expertise level or experience with with Power BI, you'll find something in here that is incredibly valuable and helpful to you. We At least we hope so. So um, that's what I want to cover for today. Um, so as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.